Hello, Chuck Butall here, Director of Education, with one more when it comes down to it. This one, we're talking about vapor retarders and barriers. Now, the main difference between a vapor retarder and a vapor barrier is that the vapor retarder is going to slow down the transmission of water vapor through that material. So vapor barriers are going to pretty close to stop the water, but not completely. And then there's also a class of vapor barrier that will stop water. These are now defined by the International Building Code, the IBC 2021, and you ought to look into that because it gives you a full definition of each class. In general, a vapor barrier is going to be a class one material, which is less than one-tenth of a perm of vapor transmission through it. That is something along the lines of glass, ultra-thick sheeting, aluminum foil, things along those lines that is almost completely impenetrable by water vapor. Then we move into class two material, which is basically 0.1 to one perm, and concrete falls into this class. So a lot of people think water doesn't move through concrete. That's untrue. Water definitely moves through concrete, as we know in the restoration industry and the built environment. And the most important thing to remember is it moves through it very, very slowly with perms of less than one but the water does move through it. So that means if I dry a slab and the ground soil around it is gonna be wet and there's no true vapor barrier between my concrete slab and the ground soil, the water's gonna move from the ground soil up into that concrete slab and eventually wet it out. And of course, that's the problem with a lot of flooring situations we have in our industry. So it's really important to understand the difference between an impenetrable class one vapor barrier and a semi-permeable class two vapor barrier. Now, once we get above one to 10 perms, we're talking about vapor retarders. Now, vapor retarders, again, are materials that will slow down the transmission, but again, water will move through it, not easily, but relatively easily. And one of the things you can always think about is something like Tyvek. Now, Tyvek's unique because it's a bi-directional material. In other words, something like plastic sheeting, whether your dry side or moist side is on either side of it, it's gonna have the same permeance whether we're going through to the left or through to the right. With a piece of Tyvek, it's gonna have a vapor barrier, class two, theoretically, or vapor retarder, depending on the material you buy, on one way, and on the other way, it'll actually allow moisture to penetrate straight on through. So it is a bi-directional vapor retarder slash vapor barrier. So when it comes down to it, remember, know the difference between a vapor barrier and a vapor retarder. Understand what is in the building you're dealing with and also understand the new codes for reconstruction and restoration. As always, thank you for learning with rtilearning.com.